Hello, what is going on everybody? <laughs> I have been getting a lot of people requesting that I make an accessory video. I know there's a ton of videos out there if you want the specifics, but this is for dummies like me. I love straight to the point, you know, everything you need to know explanations. So let me try to explain. Quick plug. I am trying streaming on Twitch and I also have a Discord. Please give it a follow twitch.tv slash no edit Andy. We have passed 50 followers. So many of you have come to support. Please join the Discord as well to come hang out with me. Links are in the description. Alrighty, accessories for dummies. Let's start with the basics. You want to save up all accessories that are 67 quality and higher. That should be obvious. Why? They give more points than lower quality accessories. For example, this necklace here gives enlightenment plus four. A lower quality would give plus three, plus two, whatever it is, right? There's a specific threshold that you need to reach. Why 67? Ask Smilegate. I'm just the messenger. Does higher quality mean it's better? Not necessarily. Better visually when inspecting? Yes. But actually, there are some lower quality accessories that give better stats. Isn't that kind of funny? Like, let me see, for example, here. Um, right here, for example. This one is an 82 quality earring, and this one is an 86 quality earring. So theoretically, this should have a higher dexterity, but no, 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 no. Dexterity 10,382. Versus 10,965. Uh-huh. So this lower quality earring gives more dexterity. Yep. But I'm sure some people will still gatekeep for you know, purple accessories. Even if your blue one has more stats. So that's something to think about. Next. That's actually enlightenment points. Enlightenment points points i keep saying that wrong yes you need as many of these and yes you get more as you cut the accessory what do i mean by cut there's three different th ways you can cut it and you can get these effects it works just like a bracelet you get three lines and you want the orange options those are the best but most likely you'd want you know something like Additional damage, outgoing damage, you know, uh, where's crit rate? Oh, it's in uh, other stuff. Like, right, where is it? Right here. Like a ring, crit rate, crit damage. You know, these orange stats are the best. Blue are the worst. Just like in bracelets. This is a low roll, purple is a mid roll, and then orange is the high roll. Another question you might have is, should you be dismantling your accessories? No, unless obviously they are lower than 67 quality. Should you sell your accessories? Also, no. Should you cut your accessories? I would probably wait for a gear to see what the market does. Wasting all of your shards right now is a bad, bad idea. You want to make sure that you save enough for ancient eventually. You don't need perfect relic accessories. Just get an okay to decent one and wait. What if I cut one time on my accessory for fun and I got a max roll like crit rate or crit damage or whatever, something good. Okay, then try to sell it to some poor sap that's willing to buy it. If we go to the market right now, go to auction house, accessory, tier four, and then just go on here, you'll see that there's some suckers out there. Okay, maybe this one's an RMT, <laughs> but maybe like something like this one. Yeah, see, crit damage 4% with a 98 quality, 18K. There's some suckers out there buying this kind of crap. This is garbage, by the way. If you want to abuse these people, go ahead, try selling it, but don't settle for a low price. 
If you can't sell it, just use it. Keep in mind, relic accessories will be obsolete in the upcoming months. If you can abuse the people who are FOMOing, <clears throat> cough, cough, or have no clue what to do with accessories, that is in your favor. I have a ton of alts that farm tier 4 accessories. What should I do with them? If you like the alt, I guess you could keep it there or you can mail it, right? Using the pet function, you can you can actually mail accessories to a specific person and then give it to whoever. And then they can either dismantle it or cut it, cut it whatever. In the end, just getting the right amount of points for the arc passive, right? Over here, you want to get the maximum amount of points you can, both in here and here, enlightenment, most important, the character one. This is the most important thing. The biggest priority is clearing a gear and getting ancient gear. You don't want relic. This only gives you eight evolution points. Gross. We want ancient. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. I think it's 20. So you would be getting a significant amount of potion, or not potion, points, evolution points, by converting to ancient gear by clearing a gear. These are big boy points. Okay, closing thoughts. The luminous gem shards you get are incredibly valuable. These ones right here. Do not waste them cutting multiple relic accessories. Like for example, do not start cutting every single piece of accessory. That is a massive waste. You want to save these. Even if you get something good, people are going to move on eventually to ancient. That's what I'm saying. If you happen to cut it and you got a good one and you happen to find a buyer who's FOMOing, congratulations. But maybe not. Then you're kind of screwed. You just wasted all of your shards trying to get the perfect relic accessory. That's ridiculous, right? We're all going to move to ancient at one point. Please do not use these gem shards because you can use these gem shards for ancient gear. That's the whole point. You want to cut ancient gear. I know, I know. There are some stuff for supports, you know, like some of this crap, like brand, I think. Brand was a really good one. These are good ones that could possibly have a market, but that's not a guarantee. So don't waste too much gold on relic accessories, please. Especially do not buy some of the cut, the ones that are cut for like 50k gold just because it's good, like high rolls. You don't need those. Get ancient eventually. Just settle for mid for relic. And you're going to have a fun time with your arc passive unlocked once a gear comes out. That was the first series of the four dummy series. I plan on making more video guides about things that may feel overwhelming to people and giving them an incredibly short and sweet version that hopefully answers most of your questions. I, I have tried to think of questions that people will ask and answering it in this video. As always, if you want to learn the specific of things, very detailed point of view, there are a ton of content creators out there that have really nice and well-informed videos. Make sure to go watch them. They have very good guides. Pineapple Gang, I hope you all are doing well. Thanks for continuing to support. The word of the day is mouse. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.